I mean, it's, it's hard for me to put into words the value of processing humanity and history or viewing humanity through history. I just, I think that there's, I think when you read, when you read the Greeks, when you read the classics, when you, when you break through that initial little barrier of what does this mean or what is, how do I connect to this style and understand what's being said? I think once you break through that, there's not a word for like the opposite of loneliness, but when you, when you like find, when you can see the things that are, that exist in common between yourself in the present and a human who lived thousands of years ago, you, you realize you're not alone, and that nobody's alone, that the things that you feel have always been felt. You know, the, the way that we are is the way that people always have been and people always will be, you know? And there's something, there's something valuable in that. It expands your perception of what humanity is. It expands your perception of what humanity is over time. And I mean, we like to think about specifically where we are in the world and we like feel nostalgic about things that were 20 years ago or 30 years ago or think about how different things are. But I think we have a lot to learn from looking at things that are as far away from us as we can still connect to and seeing that the impulses are the same, that everybody wanted, wants the same things, wanted the same things, fights for the same things loves their families in the same way, is selfish in the same ways, is violent in the same ways, loves in the same way. Like, all of these things that it just exists throughout time and for as long as there will be humans, you know?